So let's go back to our SketchUp interface and see uh, what are the ways to provide the shading controls to your project. The first and easiest way is to uh, select your windows. Let's say if I select uh, this window, I'll go to extensions, open studio user script, alter or add model elements, add overhangs by projection factor. Again, extensions, open studio user scripts, alter or add model elements and then add overhangs by projection factor click on it so basically a project projection factor is basically uh, the fraction of the height of your window if it's a, if your uh, window height is let's say four feet and you provide projection factor as 0.5 for your shading device it means the depth of your shading device is going to be two feet so let's say, uh, uh, let's just assume that projection factor is somewhere around 0.3. Uh, offset, like do you want to offset the shading from your wall? Let's say no for now. And do you want to remove existing uh, space, space shading groups? Well, we don't have any shading right now, but if you have, just click true and hit OK. And you can see I have this shading device for this space. Can I just like select every space in my project go to extension open studio user script alter or add model elements and just click on this script again let's try this i'm going to remove existing space uh, shading groups hit ok see it totally do that so it's the easiest way to do it if you want to remove it just select everything again go to extension same thing go to add overhangs for projection factor and let's say if i make it zero will it delete it for me well it did not so you need to do it manually so click on all these spaces click on this uh, shading device and hit delete come out of it go to a, a other space the different space double click on the space click on this projection factor uh, shading device click uh, hit delete come out of space all right, let me just do it one more time for you guys. I'm just going to keep one of the shading device. All right. So there are different ways to do it. Uh, the most preferred way to create shading devices is to use manual method. Like for example, I want to create a shading device, a funky shading device here for this uh, window. Let's say I want to create a, a, a grid pattern. Um, grill pattern kind of thing uh, grill pattern something like what you see in most of office projects in big, bigger cities so uh, i'm just going to use the preferred way the most convenient method here to create the uh, create the shading devices so i'm going to create a very complicated shading device here please follow uh, follow up with me uh, if you have any questions please uh, rewind this video and look into it one more time a lot of times people just try to create window device or I'm actually sorry sharing devices on top of this window which gives a lot of trouble like for example if I need to create a plane here like perpendicular to this wall it's so difficult see I can't do this it's so difficult right I mean if I do it like I can't just go pe uh, perpendicular to this uh, wall so what I do I actually create something here on my XY plane for example, I, I just uh, measure the width of window like this using the measure tool. The width is 70 feet. I can see it here. So what I do, I actually create one window. I'm sorry, a uh, sharing device here next to a plane. How you do it? You have to first click on this new shading surface group. Basically, you need to use an Open Studio tool to create the Open Studio Energy Modeling shading device right you can't just create a sketch up surface over your open studio spaces it, it's not right so click on this um, shading surface group again same thing what we did for open studio space uh, drop this plus sign plus uh, sign what you see on your cursor just drop it anywhere and now you can see it brought a new purple uh, color Open Studio Shading Group space for you. Just double click on this purple color square or actually cube. So now we are inside this space. 
if you don't see anything around you just uncheck this hide rest of model option from your open studio toolbar and now just create some shading device you can use either rectangle let's say uh, the dimension is something like um, 70 feet by 3 feet hit enter okay now I mean technically it is supposed to show purple color on top uh, I can just like select this surface right click and just reverse the, reverse the faces okay and what I can do I can just move this surface the new shading surface by using move tool over my window just click on this move tool bring on one of the corner uh, hold it use your mouse go to your window and just drop it here okay and now uh, if I want to make this uh, shading device complicated I can just double click on it uh, I'm inside this shading device now double click on this surface it means it selected all the associated objects for you the edges as well as surface click on mouse uh, button and by using control plus mouse which I explained earlier it also copies things for you control plus mouse make copies after let's say every um, let's say 12 inches okay again uh, I can do same thing one more time double click on this make copy using control plus mouse I can uh, do more things here like this okay let's say I want to uh, uh, repeat this thing one more time okay what if if I create some adjustment buildings let's say if I create let's let me just bring this shading group again drop it drop this uh, open studio shading group double click on it and now just let's say let's just create the footprint of your adjustment building I can go into top view create some adjustment buildings just just give some ran random di uh, dimensions for now go into 3d view and just like you know extrude the uh, footprint 